Let's go live to Canberra now. Joining us is the National Senator, Matt Canavan. Senator, good to see you. Thanks for your time as always. So you've got that joint coalition party room meeting today. Can a decision be reached? Well, perhaps a decision's already been made, uh, uh, Peter, by reports in the media. It seems like the, the Prime Minister is gaslighting the the, uh, the joint party room here, which is kind of ironic given uh, he wants to get rid of fossil fuels. So, uh, I mean, apparently a decision's been made, so maybe the meeting won't be much, be much, useful, at all, be much use at all. Do you know if it has been o on your side? I don't of know. I, I read the reports. I read the reports. Um, as I said yesterday, we've given very little detail about this and... I, I'm in the position of uh, being asked to marry a girl that uh, uh, I haven't met. Um, uh, that's not how the Nationals Party room works. Uh, you know, we believe you should get to know someone first and before you make that, before you take that leap. Uh, and we just haven't been given the detail here about how this is going to work. Uh, there is no credible plan to get to net zero emissions by, uh, by 2050. Uh, uh, we cannot go to an election or should not tell people uh, fantasies about hydrogen coming from nowhere and saving the day. Uh, these are real choices we've got to make. We should not be gambling people's jobs on unproven technologies. So so can the Libs take it without you, though? Can they go it alone? As, as Trudy McIntosh asked Barnaby Joyce this morning, is this a fait accompli? Well, as I said, I, I can't answer that, Peter. <clears throat> I mean, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I can't read... Uh, anyone's mind. I can only tell you what's in my head. Yeah, but they can, uh, and, can't they? And in my head. So, well, of course, of course, of course they can. Um, yeah. But I would make the point that this is not how it's been done over the past decade. Malcolm Turnbull uh, sought the approval of the party room before making decisions here. Before Greg Hunt went to Paris uh, in 2015, he sought the approval of the party room for the negotiating mandate, which led to our 26 to 28% reduction by 2030 commitment. That's been the process that's been gone through through the coalition party room, and it would be a, uh, a new precedent to say mm. that somehow uh, the cabinet, it's made up of people in the party room, uh, can just simply make their own decisions and and uh, and bugger everybody else. Would there be resignations if that were to happen? Uh, well, I've already resigned, Peter, so... From, from <laughs> others, can't though? do it again. <laughs> um, well, look, I, I, again, you're asking me, you're asking me to read other people's minds. Um, yeah. Well, what uh, do you think would happen skills, if, if, one of them, if the Libs happen to go without the Nats' approval for net zero emissions by 2050? What, what, in your view, could happen? Well, it'll be, it'll be ugly. Uh, it's not what I want. I mean, I, 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 I'm a what firm does ugly believer mean? What in the coalition mean? that this is the best... Well, obviously, it means the potential... There's lots of different outcomes here, and, and I'm not going to go through all the hypotheticals except to say that if there are different positions uh, uh, from different different parties that are so, that are in a so-called coalition, that is not the most harmonious relationship uh, for our country's leadership. And mm. uh, this has been a long-standing policy of the coalition to oppose radical uh, reductions in carbon emissions. Two years ago, I and the Prime Minister and Angus Taylor stood and said that a 45% reduction in carbon emissions would wreck the Australian economy. Uh, uh, the people that are trying to change this policy it is incumbent on them to seek the approval of the various party rooms. Now, that's the process Barnaby Joyce is going through. Uh, I think he's rightfully, as leader, saying we need to. he needs to have a discussion with his party room uh, and make sure that every member of parliament around the country gets their say. Because when you go, when every one of your viewers goes to elect someone, uh, they do not vote for Scott Morrison or Barnaby Joyce or Anthony Albanese. They vote for Michelle Landry, for George Christensen, for Ken O'Dowd. Uh, for 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 uh, Damien Drum, they vote for their local member of parliament, and their local member of parliament should be able to have their say in a government party room uh, in the parliament, uh, and not just simply be gaslighted into a position that they've had no control over. What sort of consequences could this have for the election next year, if it's next year? Well, I, I I'm pretty firm in my view here that uh, adopting a, a net zero. Uh, by 2050 target will be a betrayal of so many supporters of the coalition. And that's the feedback I'm getting uh, from the people who do support us. Uh, this is not something they support. Uh, and many of them will, <laughs> will find it very hard uh, to support us or vote for us uh, yeah. if we have signed up to a woke left agenda of net zero emissions by 2050, yeah, but apparently because Biden got elected in the US. And, and so th that, 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 that is going to have real implications because we all saw that back in... 20, 2016 and 
I, uh, I, I'm finding it like deja, deja vu all over again here that in 2016, we were told uh, people from the conservative right won't be have anywhere to vote for. Uh, we did not. We adopted uh, 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 a, not a conservative agenda other yeah. than Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull. And the Liberal Party lost 14 seats and it was only the Nationals Party that kept us in government. Yeah, but I mean, they also voted for Tim Wilson, Josh Frydenberg, Dave Sharma, Katie sure. Allen. So you'd be outnumbered yeah, on and that the, And that were, they were all elected... They were all elected on a platform of opposing radical uh, reductions in carbon emissions. They were all elected on a platform where we ridiculed the idea of net zero emissions by 2050. Is it really that radical, uh, that though, to be doing team. what most of the world is now doing? They're not doing it, Peter. They're not doing it. <laughs> the rest of the world's out there trying to buy coal at the moment, trying to buy gas because uh, they can't keep the lights on. No one is doing this. Canada hasn't even reduced their emissions. New Zealand, barely so. No one is doing this. Uh, and... and my, what will happen here, Peter, because I know how this place works, is that once we or the government commits to a net zero emissions by 2050 target, the bureaucrats here will be given an inch and run a mile. And every different project now will be, a will be measured by that rule. You will not be able to start a new Adani mine. You will not be, open up, be able to open a new agricultural area. You won't even be able to build an airport in the Great Bar on a Great Barrier Reef Island to open up a new resort. None of those things will be permitted because they will not be able to meet a net zero emissions target. Now, there are a lot of people angry with the Nationals Party this week. A lot of people angry. But I've got news for your viewers. The people down here in Canberra are not on your side. And so mm. if they're angry with us, we're doing a job. We're doing, we're doing, we're protecting you. We're doing our job and we, we, are, we are on your side. You sound pretty angry this morning, Matt Canavan. I'm pretty fired up, mate. I, you know, I, I don't get this fired up apart from State of Origin days. Well. days. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I, 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 you know, I, I'm... I, it's, oh. I, yeah. I, I, you know, we, I'm, I'm here to, to defend these jobs and industries. A lot of right, okay. hard-working men and women in industries like the coal industry, and I'm not going to stand by and let them be sold down the river. Matt Canavan, we're out of time. Appreciate your time, though. We'll talk to you soon. Thank, thanks, Peter. Have a good one.